How's it digging, my shallows? This is Bait here, and are you ready for another exciting Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi Fi battle? And today, got an old RU match that I indeed had a while back. This was against someone by the name of Pain Summer, and this was just a really weird match, kinda, you will see. And Sword Stance is the name of the game, but it was a really entertaining match, so that's why I'm posting it today, because I found it from my old battle folder. But anyways, looking at the team preview here, um, I got this old team with Nidoqueen because at the time it was still rarely used, but uh, obviously it is now UU, but some of you guys may still remember this team. It was a fun team. And on my opponent's team, the one thing I was mostly afraid of was that Gallade, because it can kind of destroy everything on my team, especially if it's like sub uh, bulk up or something like that, because the best thing I have to take it on is pretty much my Spirit Tomb and it's the Mono Attacker with Dark Pulse. So, uh, yeah, and Galade of is often known for its uh, justified ability these days. So that's not really a good matchup by any means. But uh, yeah, I led with Nidoqueen just hoping to set up rocks, but he actually leads with the Galade. Goes for the Sword Dance on the first turn, and uh, right off the bat, I'm just really scared. Because, yeah, like I said, Galade can, and as you saw from the team preview, it can do a lot of work on my team. My team doesn't really take on Galade too well. So I decided to go into Slowking, kind of check what he has for coverage. Of course it is Shadow Sneak, and it looks to be a 2 hit KO on my Slowking. The good news is that I do have the Regenerator, of course, so I can get out of dodge. Uh, but still, this Gallade is at full health, it has a Sword Stance, and I'm not really sure what to do with it. So I decided I'm gonna go into Hariyama to take one Shadow Sneak, I should be able to take it relatively well. Go for the Fake Out, first of all, get some damage on him. And uh, it actually turns out he has Steadfast, so I could have potentially stayed in with my Spirit Tomb, but I was worried about giving him more attack, because that was kind of the last thing I wanted to do, because I thought he would have Justified, but it actually turns out he has Steadfast, so now he's basically faster than everything on my team, so that kind of blows. And so I decided I'm just gonna go into Nidoqueen, kind of just foolishly sacking it, but I knew that I kind of would have to sack something. Because uh, this Gallade kind of just destroys everything. And the worst part is that this thing has leftovers. I was really hoping that he would have life orb. Obviously that was not the case. But out, out of all the items, it's Sword stands with leftovers, which is just really the worst possible thing that I could be facing at this point. And uh, yeah, just sack my Nido Queen just to go back into Hariyama and uh, quickly set, get some damage with the uh, Fake Out and Bullet Punch, which I was hoping that would take him out, but it doesn't, and he goes for yet another Sword Stance. And now with Shadow Sneak, he's able to be faster than my Bullet Punch, so I kind of just need to get out of dodge here, because Hariyama with Fake Out is the only thing faster than this Gallade right now, because uh, Fake Out has higher priority than the Shadow Sneak. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna go in Slow King, as a death for it, but I still live that with 5 HP, and I was just really hoping to get knocked out here, because in the meanwhile, he's just gonna be getting more leftovers recovery, and uh, after the next left, he's, uh, he's kinda in the range, maybe I can take him out, but I rather would've just had Slowking die, and then get a instantly a safe switch before he's getting more leftovers. But it's still looking that I should be able to take him out, but that's pretty much the only thing I can rely on. Hariyama with its fake out being faster than the Shadow Sneak. And I uh, go for the fake out, and luckily I do knock him out. But he was able to knock out two of my Pokemon out at the same time, so I got completely surprised on the first turn by this Galay, which is horrible, and uh, now he's gonna go into his uh, Drapion, and I just decided to stay in and kind of just sack Hariyama at this point, but I actually lived the Cross Poison from this thing. And I go for the close combat. It does do a lot of damage because it is Hariyama after all, but uh, after the Toxic Orb, I will go down. But I did still leave a huge chunk of damage to this uh, Drapion before going down. And so now I decided to go into Spiritum. But what do you know? This thing, this Drapion, also has Sword Stance. So now I'm actually a bit worried because I was just hoping to wall this thing because this is a physically defensive Spiritum. The, uh, Rest talking with Calm Mind and Dark Pulse as the only attack, but now he has Sword Stance to kind of uh, do a bunch of damage to me. But luckily, even after plus two, he's only able to uh, three hit KO me. But I'm not able to knock him out because he lives with Lucky Seven, 
He leaves that Dark Pulse, of course, being resisted, but I was just hoping kind of to set up on him, but of course, this thing also has Sword Sands. But uh, at least he's not able to KO me, like it was noted earlier. It's a 3 hit KO of the Crunch at plus 2, and uh, I'm able to take him out with the Dark Pulse. And uh, yeah, now it's gonna go into his uh, the Alligator, and I was really fearing that this thing would uh, start uh, Sword Sands. <laughs> Well, I guess Sword Dancing also, but mainly just Dragon Dancing on me. So what I decided to do is just uh, go into my Amoongus, it is at full health, then I could just Giga Drain him, go from there. But because the Giga Drain slash Boar is really obvious, I decided to go for the Sludge Bomb, because I saw from the team preview, he has this Buffalon, which most likely has the Sap Super ability, so I go for the Sludge Bomb instead, and the game is like, yeah, that's a good play, I get a Poison Hacks on top of everything. So that's kind of nice. I get this uh, thing poisoned because it also has leftovers, so at least I'll be nullifying that reco recovery and uh, getting some damage on him instead, so that's kind of nice. And now I decide I'm just gonna go into Spirit Tomb because he's most likely just gonna go for the head charge. And uh, I'm kind of just sacking Spirit Tomb in, th in this case, but uh, just to get a safe switch into something else on my team. But if I do actually manage to live, as I do with two hit points. I get to go for the rest, and I didn't expect to live any hit from this thing, but then again, he is running left, though, it's not life or any kind of boosting item. So I do live the hit, I get out the rest, get all the way back to full HP, after being at two hit points. But guess what? Now he's gonna sword dance on me. And I have to rely on the sleep talk roulette, and I'm just really hoping that I will get off the dark pulse, so I can knock him out, and luckily, I do. I get off the Dark Pulse, I'm able to knock him out easily from this range, get a useless crit. Didn't matter, had 500 pokes to take it. So I uh, knock him out from this range, just lucky to actually get the Dark Pulse in this situation as he was sword dancing on me again. But now in comes Feraligator, so I decided to go into my Among Us again, but he actually sets up a sub on me. Turns out this thing also has leftovers, and guess what? He does have Sword Stance! What do you know? So far, 4 out of 5 Pokemon have had Sword Stance. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now he's got plus 2 with his Feraligator. As I got my Among Us out here, and I'm just kind of worried, what does he have for another coverage move? Because I've seen Sub, I've seen Sword Stance, Waterfall, and he has Outrage. And I'm like... Outrage. Can I live this? And I live! With 26 hit points, and I get off the Giga Drain. Being life orbed and stab and super effective, easily gonna knock him out, and I'm able to uh, get off some uh, nice recovery on top of that, so I will not die to, to off to my uh, own life orb recoil. So that's kinda nice, but now he's gonna go into his own spirit tomb, and I'm totally scared of Sword Stands. Now, this is like the only thing that on his team couldn't really have Sword Stands, but I decided to stay in, see what's going on. Try to put him to sleep now that his uh, buffalo is gone, and uh, he's not gonna be able to knock me out with the dark pulse. So now I am guaranteed to have at least one turn of sleep because I was slower and I was able to put him to sleep. So what I decided to do is go into Caputo's, and now it's my chance to go for the sword stands and turn to the tables, get off that plus two. But now the difference is that it's late game and he only has two posts left, so let's see how this one is gonna go. So I do land my Stone Edge, luckily enough. Get to knock him out easily with the plus two and stab and life orb and everything. Caputops is just really powerful after plus two. But now in comes Sand Slash, and unfortunately I do pack Aqua Jet over Waterfall. Although overall, um, Aqua Jet is more useful with all sorts of frail sweepers and absolute sucker punches running around in the RU tier. But, unfortunately, in this case, it's not going to be able to knock out the uh, Sand Slash, and he's going to be able to finish me off with the uh, Earthquake. And uh, so now, I decided to just go into my Among Us. Not really sure if I can live a hit from this range, but I decided to take my chances. But he actually is also unsure if he can take me out, so he decided to go for the Stone Edge, hoping for the crit. But it turns out to be a Stone Miss, and I go for the Giga Drain, knock him out, and that will be the game! And so, swords! Swords everywhere! That's all I have to say about this match, but it was really fun. At least I had fun with this one, because... 
after everything I was able to do from the beginning, I kind of struggled with the Gallade. And then after that, it was just more sword stands, more sword stands, more destruction everywhere. And just more swords that kind of screwed me over, but I was able to get through it in the end anyways. But uh, it was a struggle. That's why it was a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, on the other news, SOPA is apparently making its return again. So you guys probably al already know all about SOPA, but it sucks and it's trying to kill interwebs and everything that we love on this community. So I believe, I guess I could leave some links in the description, but uh, if you can go and do your thing, what you can. Uh, if you, I think the thing is that uh, you can sign a petition, but you need to be like in the United States because it's the U.S. shenanigans again. They're trying to pass that law with the stupid things of the SOPA. But if you do happen to live in the U.S. and uh, you can go to the White House petition thing, you should go and sign that thing. I will leave a link in the description for at least one video that talks more about it if you are interested in knowing. You should be, but I think everybody already knows about SOPA, but at least look into it again if you can. Help stop it, because it's dumb. So, that's all I have to say about things and stuff today. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace!